But now, now my question is, this is common wisdom, conventional, you know, stuff, right, that, that you're saying that, you know, this is the way standard, the way things go, right? Kind of pretty much, right? That if you right. check this off, why is it then that that wasn't the first thing that, and my, my question is uh, to lawyer Chartier, mm -hmm. why is it that that wasn't like kind of the first thing that we kind of looked at before all of this, and therefore, you know, time and money has been, you know, gone into it, and we could have just looked at that at the beginning and said, well, hey, you know what, well, we didn't I don't know think what they it, had, or what, what, what they had I mean, that's the first thing that we could have grabbed right there. Well, we didn't know what they had. We, 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 took, we did get the records. I mean, we had to look at, we had, that's why I started off with, we looked at three things. Mm. I know you looked at my, uh, all the records. RTS, that I put, yeah. potential claims against mm -hmm. RTS, potential claims against the union, potential claims against Strong. Or U of R. Right. Um, now I already knew the other two. That that's that's, you know what I mean. I already knew that wasn't going to go. You didn't know go. that when you came here. You didn't no, know about my thing is, I said I union. want to sue. I want to sue U of R, for uh, you know missing out that I had a hurt. That's the first thing I said. I didn't say nothing about. I knew RTS. I didn't have nothing. I, I quit my position there. As uh, far as the the other stuff going to see, I already knew I was past my ninety days. I uh, noticed a claim with them. The only thing that I had to, to really lynch this all together or put this all together was the, the U of R thing. That's the only thing that, that I had for it to take, you know, months or whatever just to get those records just so you could say, hey, uh, you know, they checked off everything and you check this off and you really don't have a claim is a waste of time and resources. Well, from, from, there's no from way my... for us to know that before we look. There's no way for right. me to tell you when Understand, you come in but... here. Without us doing that investigation, mm -hmm. we can't have this meeting. Right, right. What I'm saying is U of R records should have been the very first thing that we should have went through to, to go ahead and get. That was one of the things we asked okay. for, along with all your other, other medical records. Okay. Because we got to know, I mean, absent us knowing what we know mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. I mean, there'd be no way to report that back yeah. to you. Then another thing you, I, I needed to know at the beginning, too, was, okay, let's say they file for this to be dismissed. Right? How long does it take from the time when you file the claim to them to to be able to uh, dismiss it? Not very long. What's what's not very long? I mean, we we wouldn't recommend pursuing mm -hmm. such a claim, and if we did, we'd have to we'd have to have another retainer to. Oh, you yeah, know, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. Um, but, but I wouldn't. I need a I time wouldn't table. recommend doing that, and I wouldn't want to bring such a claim because. It's a frivolous claim, and there's potential that if you bring a claim that you know doesn't have merit, because you, you we've done this investigation now, and we can they can potentially turn around and hit you for all of their attorney's fees and costs that went into defending it. Yeah, okay, but how long how long would it would it take? See, that, these are the things. These are the important questions could happen that within you know. As soon as it's filed and it's served, it could happen within a couple of weeks. They could have a motion to dismiss out there. And then mm. it would be a question of how quickly they get in before the court to get it dismissed. Right. See, like I said, so now these, happen, these, uh, these are a lot of the things that, to me, I feel, okay, you're a lawyer and you've been doing this for, for years, mm -hmm. that things need to be up front with. Like, okay, well, listen, uh, if they have something that says, you know, that you signed off saying that this, this, and this, uh, and you signed off okay on it, then we don't have a claim and they could dismiss it. And, you know, all of this is before the, me, the client, would say, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and be willing to invest the $1,500 fee plus, you know, $100 over. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, like I'm to me. I'm not sure. Well, What's okay. All right. If you're, okay. You are, I don't know that there's no claim when you come in here. You're acting as if I know when you come here, there's no claim. I, I don't know that. And that's why we had to What I've just said, though, that you've done enough of these, I would think, right, to know that, all right, if you signed anything saying that you're a Domino's or whatever, or everything is okay with you, uh, that then that puts all the responsibility on you to find out if you're okay or not for in order for them to search. You, you know what I'm saying? You would... Kind of know doctor? that, huh? In terms of the doctor, yeah, yeah, that would be that would be on me if I signed. Say they sat down with me and said, "Boss, is everything okay?" Yeah, 
I check off, yeah, everything is okay with me, as far as I know. But we didn't know that that's what happened. I mean, you, you couldn't tell me what records they have. I mean, you, don't, you wouldn't mm -hmm. know either. There's no way for us to know that. I, we didn't know that they, that they did that checklist with you, that you did the checklist until we got the records. There's no way for me to know that when you come in here mm -hmm. and you say, can you look at this, these potential claims for me? Mm -hmm. There's no way for me to know that that's out there until I get the records and then I review them. And even then, I mean, without people who deal with that... Because, I mean, I talked with a couple of lawyers right before you guys, mm -hmm. and some of them said, you know, uh, like even a lawyer was close to me that, that did a defense for me and stuff. He said, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to put, put up this case because to me, off the month, you know, off, really just for what you're saying, it doesn't sound like you really have a case. Mm -hmm. He told me that. I said, okay, well, hey, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll go ahead and move on. A couple other lawyers had, had said that. To me, it just seems like a, 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 a waste of uh, time and resources. And I'd rather have been had an upfront, well, you know, thing. Well, I mean, uh, you came thing. to us, you went to other lawyers, they told you they didn't know. I mean, you, you could go to somebody else, maybe they tell you something different. But from, from what we've seen, mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend pursuing a lawsuit. I wouldn't recommend it. But could I tell you that without learning what we learned? No. There's no way for me to tell you that. I mean, I could tell you when you came in here, you didn't have claims against the city of Rochester. And I right, I knew that. Did say, right, right, I knew that. I, I already knew the 90 that. days had expired, and I already knew that. Sure. That's not the issue. The issue was there was a U of R thing. Well, there was two issues. Mm -hmm. It was union and potential claims against the U of R, mm -hmm. which is, I understand you're saying that you brought that up with us, but... Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you, mm. but, I mean, there's no way for me to know that without doing the investigation. Mm. 